Okay, folks. Yes, I'm doing this semi-quick video. I have a little rant to give. And it is about this notion that uh, single-player games are going the way of the dodo, as a certain media outlet put it. In fact, it seems to be the hot trending story over the past 48, you know, 24 to 48 hours, that multiplayer games are taking over and that single-player games are going away, and especially at the AAA level. And I'm left wondering, why are we talking about this again, right? This was talked about like a decade ago, two decades ago even, when multiplayer games, especially online multiplayer games on consoles like Halo and Call of Duty, were starting to blow up. Uh, people were like, oh, hey, we're g they're going to get rid of it. Oh, P you know, companies are attacking multiplayer now onto single player games, but the game is still selling primarily because of its single player aspect. No one necessarily cares about the multiplayer aspects of games like Tomb Raider, but it's been this big, ever-evolving bubble that people have just been kind of predicting or stating has bursted. If we believed rhetoric like this, then Nintendo has been doomed for 30 years and went out of business before I was even born. I mean, we have to think about this logically here, where a lot of people are too reactionary. And what upsets me about this is not so much when fans are reactionary, because we're fans, right? Like, we're, we're, we're not immune to uh, having quick take reactions to ongoing events. But it bothers me when respected media members, respected members of media outlets that I pay attention to, and even YouTubers are restating and restating this rhetoric without a whole lot of evidence to really back it up. Now, why is it becoming prevalent now to talk about multiplayer and single player games going away? Well, EA is closing Visceral Studios. And whatever you think of EA and the closing of that, there's been this rhetoric around the fact that the Star Wars game they were making was a single player experience. And so they can the single player experience to port it over to a different studio that's going to turn it into a multiplayer experience. Now, here's the thing. We have literally no sources or evidence that the game is going to become a multiplayer game. There's nothing in EA's statement or any statement from anyone at Visceral or the new head of the game that they are taking it in a multiplayer direction. And it very well might happen, but... Uh, as was clarified, I believe, by Jason Scherer, uh, they, it being a single-player game had nothing to do with why it was canceled. The game was just a mess. It was a hot mess. And after years of development and probably tens of millions of dollars put into it, uh, they had to essentially make a decision. Do you finish the game or do you pull the plug? And with it being a hot mess, obviously they were going to pull the plug and move the assets over to a different studio that could maybe, on a smaller budget, make something out of it. Make something dynamic, make something that we can look forward to. Now, whether it ends up being a multiplayer game or a single-player game, I think it's completely irrelevant. Now, the, this here's the thing. Multiplayer games are popular. Single-player games are popular. I think we sometimes forget that single-player games are a thing that sells really well in this industry because we have massive multiplayer success stories like a Destiny or a Call of Duty or League of Legends or an oh, Overwatch. There's a lot of multiplayer games that see success, but why are we forgetting about the single-player games that see success? You know, The Last Guardian. Uncharted 3, Uncharted 1, 2, 3, and 4, to be honest. The Last of Us. We have The Last of Us 2 still coming. <laughs> we can't forget about games like Breath of the Wild, for crying out loud. Still one of the best sellers of 2017 to this day. We have Super Mario Odyssey coming out. This is not saying that games like Splatoon 2 and Mario Kart and Destiny and all these multiplayer games don't have a place. Of course they do, but the single player games have a place as well. And the fact that we're seeing continued releases of single player games lets you know that no, single player games have not gone away. Now, I know what some of you guys are going to say. A lot of single player games are starting to tack on multiplayer aspects, and I understand that. But I think just because there's tacked on multiplayer doesn't necessarily take away from that single player experience. As an example, if Assassin's Creed Origins, I haven't done enough research into this yet, but Assassin's Creed Origins is a, a single player experience, right? It is being sold to you as a single player experience. Now, there might be a tacked on multiplayer aspect to it, but that's not why people are buying the game. They're buying it for the single player. The same reason people bought Tomb Raider, the same reason people bought Doom, and the Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus is an FPS that came out that's a single player FPS, it's not multiplayer. Like, this notion that single-player AAA games 
are going the way of the dodo and we're not going to have them anymore. It just it baffles me, especially this year in 2017 when we had some of the very best single player games release. Over the past 2 years, I could argue it's been some of the best 2 years ever in the history of gaming for single player games. So I I'm kind of left wondering why are people jumping all over this notion, th this notion that hasn't even been proven true, that the Star Wars game was canceled because it's not multiplayer? I, it, it baffles my mind that people jump to conclusions like that. And I said, I'm not immune. I, I've jumped to conclusions on certain topics as well. But it, it's just really frustrating when we're in the midst of one of the biggest Mario games to ever release. We're in, in the midst of like The Last of Us 2 coming out here eventually. Uh, we just came off of like Horizon Zero Dawn. Huh? Didn't even bring up that game from PlayStation 4. Uh, we're in this midst of, in the midst of, like really, if single player games ever went away, kind of the return of their prevalence. Triple uh, A single player games are, in my opinion, on a huge upswing. So I don't, I don't know why the cancellation of one game by a company in EA that traditionally doesn't even make that many single-player games anymore uh, really matters. Yes, is EA going to make a ton of single-player experiences? Probably not. Their bread and butter is multiplayer, whether it's their sports titles or Battlefield or even what, some of the stuff they have going on at Bioware. They're, they are all about that multiplayer fun. But like we know there's a new Dragon Age com game coming, and guess what? Dragon Age has always been a single-player experience through the first three games. So I... It's baffling to me. It's it's just baffling to me that media members and fans alike are just jumping on this whole. Is there a place for AAA gaming? I mean, just look at the threads currently on NeoGap. Is AAA gaming going away? Does AAA gaming have a place? The, the and we're talking about single player. Like, is single player going away? Is single player. Have, is there a spot for single player Star Wars games? Can these games sell? There are millions upon millions of these games selling every single year. Why are we even? I, I, what what are we even doing here? What? According to all, I mean, if you're out there just consuming video game media right now or out on a video game forum, it's hard to even avoid this topic. And it's just incredibly frustrating. If you just, you would think that the, if you love single player games, the gaming industry is going to vanish for you and you're going to be stuck just playing Call of Duty the rest of your life. I... Oh, it's incredibly frustrating. Anyways, that's going to be the end of my rant. Let me know what you guys think about this whole fiasco, this whole mess in the comments below. I didn't say a whole lot about the EA and Visceral thing per se because I don't really want to dive too deep into it. Uh, just in general, that seems to have been the spark that started this whole, oh my gosh, everyone panicked, there's going to be no more single player games. Relax. Gaming really hasn't, you know, they've been saying there's not going to be any more single player games for almost as long as Nintendo's been doomed. And look, Nintendo's still around. Nintendo's now worth more money than Sony as of today. Uh, and more valuable of a company than the, the current industry leader. Uh, and, and I only did that quotation mark thing because Nintendo technically has sold more 3DSs than PlayStation 4s have sold, and they're both part of the, the dedicated video game space. So, I mean, wouldn't the 3DS be the industry leader? Just just throwing that out there, at least for now. PlayStation 4 is probably going to pass that. But anyways, folks, I'm Nathaniel Rovajas from Nintendo Prime. Let me know what you think about this whole, oh my gosh, single-player games are going away fiasco in the comments below. Uh, and I apologize. I wanted to give you a bunch of uh, sales figures for this year, but... Again, uh, because there's not a lot of exact reporting on sales figures for games in 2017, uh, I can't provide that kind of data. And since this topic's coming up now, I didn't feel like bringing up sales figures from 2016 was as relevant. But put it this way, if you look at the history of single-player games over the last five years, they're selling phenomenally well. I mean, Resident Evil 7, are you kidding me? That thing just, oh, man, 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 man. All right, folks. Like this video if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it. I'll catch you in the next one. Oh, and uh, go Bucks go, baby. Opening night.